And also I drove around some more and it's not running right, kind of randomly sputters at idle and it does that sometimes when driving and it just bogs when it does it and then drive for like 20 minutes it goes away and it runs fine. So I'm, per I'm just going to take the throttle body off and clean it because I think it might be the throttle position sensor with the negative battery lead disconnected and take the whole throttle body off. You got the vacuum hose here. Careful not to break it, it's plastic. Then you have your uh, throttle position sensor disconnecting your uh, layer control valve disconnect as well as your uh, cables for the throttle pedal and the cruise control. And then it's just two bolts to take that off. And the throttle body comes off the intake manifold. And you got two more right there to take off the bracket for the cables. Well, here's the throttle body off. First them to come off. Yeah. Quite dirty if you look inside the intake manifold. It's full of black soot. That's why I don't like emission system like EGR that like this has with this here. Exhaust gas recirculation right there where it goes into the intake manifold. Comes off the back of the head and there's the EGR valve right in there. So you just have this uh, soot going through your intake manifold in your engine. I don't like that, but. If it was on a diesel, it would be much worse. Like some of the Volkswagen TDIs I've seen, the intake manifold would like literally like pack up with soot like that that thick from the walls, like in a 150,000 miles, and you got to take the intake manifold and clean it. But it's a petrol engine, so we got a lot less soot. Got the throttle body disassembled as much as it needs it, with the throttle position sensor off, and as well as the idler control valve. Right here you got the throttle position sensor, which is a uh, potentiometer pretty much. Your uh, voltage changes with the throttle position and the computer reads that. And that's what gives you more fuel when you give your car gas. And here's the high layer control valve. It's got a stepper motor in it, which controls this big needle thing, which moves it in and out. And that controls how much air goes in the engine when you're at idle. Cause with EFI, it's not like a carburetor when you have your uh, throttle, position, throttle out plate open. The carburetor, you just set your idle and you have your throttle plate open slightly. And that's how it idles, but with EFI, it's completely closed. If you look in there, there's a, a small bypass duct. Which goes through there. Comes right here. So, when it's idling, the butterfly is closed all the way and the computer controls how much air goes in. There's the idler control valve. So like when it's cold day out and you just start your engine, it uh, makes it idle higher, kind of like a choke on a carburetor, but all computer controlled. There's no choke butterfly, obviously. And on EFI, it just got computers that gives it more fuel when it's cold. And this is where the throttle position sensor goes on. The little flat metal rod just rides in here. You can see how dirty this is. So it not probably not closing properly. It could be part of my stalling problem. So I'll carefully clean that off and put it together. Okay. And we got the throttle body all nice and clean. It's very important to get nice and clean where the butterfly closes because you have a dirt belt up and won't close all the way and your car won't idle properly and as well as where the elevator control valve seats. Here's the idle air control valve. Cleaned it off for some discoloration on the tip, but that won't affect it. And the throttle position sensor didn't need to be cleaned on this particular car. It's, it sits on the outside of the throttle body. So I've seen some where it's actually not sealed off in the, where the air flows, so it gets dirty and needs to be cleaned. So that's why I thought it was dirty and not running properly. But So it must be the idle air control valve that was dirty, which it was. Now, I cleaned the throttle body with brake cleaner. I wouldn't recommend that because you can damage the sensitive uh, LA control valve and the throttle position sensor, but I removed them so there's nothing damage on it. Now, I cleaned the tip of this with some uh, alcohol. The paper towel came right off. Careful not to get it deep inside into the stepper motor. So now, just to put it back together and see if it'll run better. 
Well, I'm about done putting it together. Just got to put the intake back on, and here's what I found. Here's the connector for the idle air control valve. It's looking a bit sad, isn't it? See all the wires, insulation's broken down. Bare. So when you're driving along, it vibrates, touch together, and then it starts stalling because the valve doesn't know what to do, or either it opens or it closes too much, and it doesn't run right. So cleaned it off. Now just seal it up with some of this liquid electrical tape. Here we are going for test drive after I put the throttle body back together. It still did the uh, sputtering misfire thing when I first took off. It only did it for about a few seconds and it went away. Before it would um, do it every now and then. It would last for about like 20 seconds and have no power and then it would come and go. And um, some rubbish in the middle of the road. And that's a it seems I might have fixed it, maybe not completely, but it's running much better, so... Let's do a little bit of a pull for my cars right here, from like maybe 3 miles an hour to 50. Look at that, a third. 